hello welcome to the channel kindly click the subscribe button and let's get to today's update so traffic came to a standstill as kenyans helped themselves to free baking flour from an overturned trailer the loaded lorry overturned on mombasa road near ole sereni hotel just after the southern bypass leaving bells of unga at the masses of pedestrians and motorists the very unfortunate accident became a fortune and a blessings to those at the scene as they scrambled for bells of wheat flour as motorists and drivers took the flour to waiting vehicles and drove away with it as pedestrians walked. In a video shared widely on social media, some Boda Boda riders are seen loading up to four bells of unga on their motorbikes before speeding off. This happened as unga prices in the country are currently retailing at over 200 Kenya shillings per 2 kg pack and the cost of living so high as to causing hunger to so many Kenyan families. This incident as much as it's taking someone else's property on its crisis as the accident brought losses to the owner, the people in question who took the bells of unga might as well term it as God sent as many people can't afford it. Unga prices has within a short time hiked its prices as from 100 Kenya shillings to 200 Kenya shillings per 2 kg pack. Kenyans are the mercy of a hope that someday the price might drop. Well, this is not new in Kenya as few months back, a petroleum lorry was in an accident and people were seen going towards it to fetch the oil even though it was not only a loss to the owner but also a life-threatening activity as it has cost people's lives in many occasions well president william ruto however has urged kenyans to be patient as he's only a few months in the government and promised to deliver all the promises made during his campaign well do you term the act of taking the bells of unga and walking away with them as theft how is the economy of the country to blame for the desperate act of Kenyans? Ensure to leave a comment, like and subscribe. See you in the next one.